Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Tech Store. In today's video, we're diving into a fundamental aspect of software development, logging in internet applications. Logging plays a crucial role in understanding what's happening under the hood of our applications, helping us track down bugs, monitor performance, and gain insights into user behavior. In this tutorial, we use Analog. Analog is a flexible and free logging platform for various .NET platforms. It includes .NET Standard, Analog make it easy to write to several targets like database, file, console, and uh, change the logging configurations on the fly. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we create a project ASP.NET Core Web API called Analog Demo. Begin by adding the required analog dependencies to our project. In the Visual Studio, you can use the NuGet Package Manager to search for and install the following packages, like analog and analog.web.ab.netcore. After that, uh, we uh, configure analog in the ASP .NET Core app to configure analog in your if it's .NET Core web API application, open the program.cs file and the file as follow. Yeah, that's good. The next step, we uh, config a uh, Create a knock the config file at the root of your project. Yeah, you can see some tab. Uh, yeah, yeah it's a lot file, it's a camera file. It's um, main components like targets you can the target files or you can log database other targets like console database you can save a name name of targets finance the destination where the file can load into the layout is the format the message when I log into the analog file, yeah, we long that even property on a level. Logger, uh, that's that slide you, want, you don't want to lock the, the message start with the Microsoft DOS In um, this log, we uh, set mid level is debug. Right to log file, log file is the name of the target we uh, define. Okay, we uh, press Ctrl F5 to start project and check now. Yeah, the API got with the focus, not log anymore. So we uh, 
inject local interface into uh, the forecast controller with the iLocal interface that defined in uh, Microsoft Direction Logging. Yeah, to define the private variables called locker, we can use the locker variable and use the lock debug method. That's referring to debug level in lock level. Then we get the API. Currently, we can see the block file in the definition we find in the log config in the bin debug the net add. And as, as you can see, we uh, see the two file. This one is internal log file we define in unlock tag. The second is file name we define in the yeah you see very very messages in the log file with the um, with the format we define in the log file. Yeah, uh, many messages with us uh, has start with Microsoft Microsoft and we. Don't want to read it. We can find the outlook in the this slide. Yeah, and now the more the controllers, like the forecast controller. Debug level will allow this debug message. Is that right? Okay. Now we are uh, remove. We we don't want to lock the message. I'll start with uh, my Microsoft uh, ABC ABC with snap call. And in a config, we uh, define the um, locker name uh, Microsoft uh, and uh, level is for and uh, final issue final issue is block don't lock nemesis um, start with microsoft okay now start restart the project and try it more We just see the message when uh, the developer will lose this message. Okay, let's go. Cool. Now we um, learn about logging and CSAP, and we need to understand log level in .NET. Yeah, we have six, six level, six log level in uh, the .NET. Um, with a view from range from zero to six. Yeah, with a uh, debug level, we have value one. That's uh, that's a uh, value means uh, we can log the um, when we define the min level in uh, log config. You can lock um, the lock level from that mid level and a higher value. Uh, it's about we lock debug 
uh, it's merely for a uh, debug we can lock the um, debug and higher example lock uh, it for Uh, example we uh, lock debug, lock it for and lock winding. Now restart the project and uh, you can see the results. Okay, in uh, our file, you can see the three lines, debug level, info level, and warning level. Uh, because the uh, info and warning have uh, higher values than debug, you can uh, lock it into the log file. So, if you change the mid level, it is for now see the results okay. Yeah, in a uh, Log file results, and you can see just lock the info and warning level because the level and B level is info. You can you can lock the debug level because the debug level is lower value than uh, info and warning. You can just lock the info and warning, row, critical, and none. Yeah, I hope this is helpful and see you in other tutorial. Thanks for watching.